what's up? Mark here from WayCoolNews.net, giving you another new and exciting toy review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Scout Predator from Series 6 of NECA's Predator toy line. The packaging is still very reminiscent of the early beginnings of this line starting back in 2010. A side profile image of the Scout Predator's mask comes on the left side of the blister card, with the name featured on the opposite right. The insert at the bottom of the clamshell packaging once again features the Scout Predator character name just above the Predator 2 movie title text, alongside a small profile image of our figure. The insert also informs us that this figure includes a boasting articulation of over 25 points and that the smart disc has been included as an accessory. The back of the packaging offers the same image as the front nameplate with a wider perspective of our Scout Predator figure. The back also includes a brief bio featuring an alias of Lost Hunter and a listed weaponry preference of throwing disc and wrist blades. There is also a small excerpt that details the existence of the Lost Hunters which reads almost like a mission statement. Also available a part of Series 6 is the Warrior Predator. Lost Predator, alongside our Scout Predator. The mask of the Scout Predator largely resembles the mask of the original Predator from the first film, while the body looks to be a reuse of the City Hunter sculpt used in Series 4. Many people have easily confused the Scout Mask as the sculpt from the classic Predator Mask used in Series 3. Despite the two masks being identical in shape and design, the mask for the Scout Predator offers a new and unique texture that wasn't seen previously on the classic Predator's mask. The sculpting of the iron-like armor comes deeply etched with the same anciently weathered texture as the mask. The detail is quite astonishing. It creates the unique blending of two worlds, a technologically advanced society meeting up with the ancient ruins of one of the oldest civilizations. NECA is no slouch when it comes to detail, and this figure is jam-packed with it. The shoulder-mounted blaster is mounted on a small slide track, and when not in use, can easily be stowed away. The cannon is also equipped with a small ball for directional articulation, providing us with a chance to aim wherever we choose. However, as a side note, when the cannon is fully deployed at the top of the shoulder, it can get in the way of the Predator's line of sight or dreads just a bit. The extendable claws look cool with an added bloodstained finish on the blades. The plastic seems a little thin and can wind up being a little bendy at times. The tiny little etched lines seen throughout both gauntlets, along with the corrosive worn down iron-like body armor, is truly awesome. The texturing through the armor is truly something to behold. The small technological details only help to enhance the already realistic nature of this figure. The armor along the Scout Predator's back is so intricately detailed, it looks like something out of the mind of H.R. Geiger. Even the inner portion of the Smart Disc holster on the Scout Predator's right leg is loaded with detail. Finding ways to add detail to commonly missed or unseen areas of a character is a prime example of NECA's commitment to producing high quality products. Even the leather-like portions of the Scout Predator's armor is equipped with a realistic texture that captures the stress and age of the material. The use of a black color wash on the armor and leather helps elevate the weather look even further. The gauntlets, while sculpted well, seem to lack it however, creating a minor difference. The texturing is executed with perfection and really makes items like the mask look like they're created from something like a pewter. The striped and speckled skin is coated with a quality gloss, helping recreate the wet-like look of Predator skin. The netting is painted dark enough, but the application seems to get a little off course at points across the chest and abdomen. This seems to be fairly common, but not a deal breaker, as the majority otherwise seems to hit the mark. The Predator line has boasted an enhanced level of articulation beginning in Series 4. The articulation layout of this figure consists of a ball jointed neck, swivel hinged shoulders,
swivel hinged elbows ball jointed wrists a fully rotational waist swivel hinge hips double jointed knees and ball jointed ankles The range of motion and ability to pull off particularly iconic poses, like looking at his left gauntlet, can be somewhat of a trying task. The gauntlet is a tad bit smaller than the one offered with the Lost Predator, and so while it does allow the figure to be a little less impeded by it, it still doesn't entirely possess the range of motion I would like it to. The leather portions seen in the loincloth and hip holsters are made of a pliable plastic and don't at all interfere with the hip articulation in any way. So let's talk more about the accessories now. The right hand is perfectly sculpted to hold the smart disc weapon. The holster for the smart disc is pretty finicky. I haven't had much success getting the disc to actually stay holstered, so while it's a nice addition in theory, it lacks practicality. The necklace is another great addition that isn't often mentioned as an accessory, but being that it's not an integrated part of the sculpt, I would categorize it as one. The small skull on the necklace also receives the color wash treatment, helping create a very authentic look. If you're a fan of the Predator films, or even just the original, then this is a great figure. Not only does this figure feel like a composite of the two main movie Predators, it also features the three main Predator weapons. While the room for improvement in articulation is marginal, everything else about this figure is simply astonishing. You should be able to find these figures at your local Toys R Us for around $17.99. In a day and age where any lump of plastic will cost you $9.99, this figure, loaded with quality and detail, is a bargain for sure. For more soon to come Predator and other toy reviews, be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. For WayCoolNews.net, I'm Mark and this has been another WayCool Review.